right, welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be talking about Loki, which is streaming on Disney+. Plus. Um, do a little bit of a summary, but if you haven't watched it, you should go watch it. It's very good. Um, I'm definitely going to be going into spoilers in this review, but I'll do a little bit of a non-spoiler summary for those of you who, which I'm sure is not very many, don't know what it's about or are you know need just a little bit of a push to go watch it. Um, basically, it follows the story of Loki um, from the end of Endgame when the Avengers time travel into the past and he, take, he steals a Tesseract because of you know X, Y, and Z. Transfers out. That makes him a variant, uh, which gets him on uh, the TVA's notice, who's like this organization that lives outside of time and tries to keep like this one timeline intact um, without it branching off. So they pull Loki in. Uh, kind of use him to hunt down this other variant of himself. Uh, and there's a bit of like, a, you know, it's a discovery of like who, who runs, who, who, you know, who, what's actually the TVA about, who's behind it, what's really going on. There's a bunch of like mystery and intrigue and stuff like that. I think it's a great show. Um, I'm going to probably just fanboy about it a little bit. So. If you don't want any spoilers, you should leave now. Go watch it, come back, and then we can talk about it. So, uh, this show is great. <laughs> There's not a lot of critiques I really have for it. I think it's super solid. Um, I think they did an excellent job of taking Loki, who's essentially from the end of Avengers 1, and bringing him the character development of the Loki from the end of Ragnarok without making it feel super forced or making us repeat the whole thing over again. You know, they let him, you know, well, he kind of sees his future of what actually would have happened to him if he would have stayed on his course. And it's, you know, Tom Hiddleston does a good job of portraying those emotions and you can just see like the some of the you know growth just instantly and like he's kind of shaken and it's I, I can't believe that they did it and they did it within like an episode i thought it would take way longer than that to reset that or they were going to take him in a completely different direction uh but no they take him to that point and then with the rest of the show they take him beyond that point almost making him like this you know tragic hero who kind of like he's trying his best but no matter what he does like his destiny is always to mess everything up um so i'm really excited now that they've shown i've seen the whole show and like i'm excited to see season two and what happens next and honestly the rest of the mcu because there's a lot i mean i'm been excited about seeing more phase four and stuff like that but i think like their disney plus shows have really been like hitting well which i'm kind of surprised by because i expected it to be hit or miss but it looks like they're, you know, they're putting money into these and they're really trying to make them, you know, really good. Um, I think uh, Sylvie, which is the female variant, one, of, I guess there could be more than one female variant of Loki, but the female variant of Loki, um, I think that she's really great. Uh, like the actress that plays her is super awesome. I think the character itself is super awesome. I like the, you know, we get to see a lot of different Lokis, especially in episode five. I like how each of them felt distinct, but kind of all the same. Like you can kind of see like they have similar character traits, but there's, you know, there's distinctions and different things that, you know, that change their paths. And I think that's really cool. I think that was awesome and super well done and done very quickly. Um, I know I've heard a lot of people talk about classic Loki. I also kind of agree that classic Loki was fantastic in um, episode five. And just like 
the pure chaos energy of basically sacrificing yourself. Oh, that was fantastic. Awesome scene. Um, gosh, I mean, like, there's a lot of great stuff about this show. Um, I think that, uh, I think that, I mean, I really like the conclusion. The ending of this show is basically just one giant exposition dump of, like, everything that's kind of been happening behind the scenes of the TVA and behind the entire MCU this the entire time we've been watching it. Uh, from a variant of uh, Kane, who is He Who Remains. Yeah. And I think that... Uh, what's his name? Jonathan Majors. Oh, man. I'm so excited to see that dude and more stuff. He made that episode just fantastic. I thought his character was, like, that right level of insanity where, like, you couldn't tell if he was joking or if he was about ready to, like, just take him out. Like, it seemed like he was just so done and he's just been alone for so long that he's just, you know, off the rails. Um, and it's to a point of, like, he just doesn't care. I mean, he really – he's just like, okay, you do – you know, we're going to see how this plays out. Um, but, you know, either way, I still win. And I'm excited to see all these different variants of him – that are probably going to span at least Phase 4. I imagine Phase 4 and Phase 5 because I don't think we're getting an Avengers movie until the end of Phase 5. So I imagine he'll probably be the big bad of you know these two phases, which I'm kind of excited about. I'm, I'm excited they've set those up. Um, yeah. Uh, I guess... Uh, We'll do a little bit of critiquing. Um, I think that, funny, uh, funnily enough, there's so many characters in this show, but I think that they do a really good job, except for uh, Ravona. I, I feel like... I feel like there wasn't enough with her backstory and kind of... Like, we got some of her backstory, but, like, I wanted to know more about between her and Mobius, what kind of, like, w they didn't really feel like friends, but they were friends for thousands of years. Um, well, you know, I guess technically outside of time, but I really wanted to see maybe flashbacks to their relationship a little bit and how it got to this point, or maybe a little bit more. It doesn't maybe it doesn't even need to be flashbacks, but something to give us a little bit more insight in the first episode or two of like their closeness. I didn't feel at all like they were friends. I felt like Mobius was her employee, but like you know a little bit of like a favored employee, but not friends. Uh, I mean, I don't think you know. I think we'll get more of her. I don't feel like she did a whole lot this season other than kind of be a little bit of a roadblock for some instances, but she's clearly going to be a threat moving forward. Um, I'm excited to see where she pops up because clearly she has marching orders from he who remains. And I want to know what he's having her do because it's, I think it's going to be detrimental to the Avengers in some way, or, you know, some of those characters. So I'm, I'm excited to see where it's been set up, but I think that's a big point that they'll need to address moving into the future. Um, also, I just want to say so funny and I loved it so much, and I was thinking the exact same thing. Uh, I think Mobius is the one who says it, which is that, oh, Loki, it's so sad that you basically fell in love. You fell in love with yourself. How much of a narcissist are you? And 
I find that funny and sad, but also it's like it just felt right for that for for this character. I I I was like, wow. This relationship is kind of really weird when you think about it because they're basically the same person but they haven't been able to fall in love before because they're you know some of it is a little bit of narcissism and stuff like that but i feel like also it's just uh a little bit of like needing personal growth and it's insane that 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 the combination of a male and female loki causes them to fall in love with each other i thought that was funny and i was actually like yeah this totally makes sense for this character so all right uh i don't want to go too much longer on that so i think that's where i'm going to cut this one uh again if you haven't watched it well you've just got a ton of stuff spoiled for you now so go watch it anyway it's great um if you disagree with any of the points I made or you have other critiques that you want to talk about or other favorite parts, go ahead and post them down in the comments below. I'm excited to hear what other people think about it. Uh, I've talked to a few friends about it, and I really think that it, for a lot of people that I know, did pretty well. Um, but you might not feel the same. Make sure if you do like the video, leave a like. Super helpful. Helps grow the channel. Helps get uh, our videos found. and. Uh, seen by more people which i appreciate and obviously if you haven't subscribed please subscribe especially if you watch the videos i uh i i'm hoping you know we're really small right now but i'm hoping we can grow and uh keep growing into the future so all right that's gonna be it for this one guys so thanks